The top ranked U Maine women's basketball team is heading to the NCAA tournament once again after claiming its second consecutive America East Championship. New Center Maine's Jackie Mundry was at the game and has the sights and sounds. The net's been cut down and the confetti has fallen and the U Maine women's basketball team has officially punched their ticket to the NCAA tournament, defeating the Hartford Hawks 68 to 48. Here's how it all went down. We'll start things off with Paris Rosengill making it look easy. She hit her 100th three-pointer tonight and finished with 15 points. But she wasn't the top scorer for the Black Bears. That was Blanca Milan with 19 points and 8 rebounds. She gets to the rim right here. Next up, Fonnie Wadling picking up two. She finished the night with a triple-double. And just like that, the Black Bears defeat the Hartford Hawks 68-48 to and are America East champions again. They're heading back to the tournament. Last year we kind of, no one expected us to do anything and somehow we, we found our way to win a championship and this year um, everyone expected us here and, and that's a different challenge and it's a hard challenge when you've never been there before. A challenge the team has conquered and for MVP Tanisha Sutton, that means playing her last game at the Cross Insurance Center. I mean, I'm going to miss it, you know what I mean? I love playing with these girls. Um, I love our coaches. The Black Bears may be done playing at home, but they're not done playing and they have what seems like the entire state behind them. I just love seeing them play. I take a special county pride in Paris Rosignol because she's from Van Buren and I'm from Caribou, but all of the team is just fabulous. That county pride is special and just the support that this whole state has shown me, not even these last two years, my first two years too, when I wasn't playing a lot. The Black Bears will learn their fate Monday night at 7 o'clock during the ESPN Selection Show. In Bangor, Jackie Mundry, New Center, Maine.